Right, there's the coom. It looks like there's a way down there. Gonna go up around. I know I've been up over that way. Yeah, I have. I've been up on the top there. I've never done the coom. I always said I would do it. I haven't yet. I'm not doing it today. I'm not deliberately not doing the. I might do the trig point, but I'm not doing the big. I'm not exactly go heading for that one. I'm not deliberately going along here to see other possible tracks. To see other possible tracks. I wonder if she feels isolated. <laughs> yeah, I know I've done that bit. Sky. Trick point to be over there. I'm sort of going round it if you like. Just to get some more I want more views of here. And close-up views. Where I can see any other routes that might take me down. Rain's keeping off for now. You can feel it's in the air, if you know what I mean. In the winter, more paths will open up. You can see there's a way down there. It could be an animal made it. it. Might open up in the winter down through there to get on that side. Yeah, I haven't actually been up this way for a while. Over the last couple of years, I've been concentrating on West Bagborough, Triscombe, Crocombe, and Bitnoller, and also places like Holford, Green uh, Smithscombe, Delver Hill Fort, and Wecom. Uh, I haven't really explored much over great wood when well, none really not even the last couple of years and uh, so I am a bit breathless I'm going up and up getting higher and higher the show the trove The bus journey from Taunton to Bicknoller, say, only takes as long as from Western to Cheddar. But I have got a 20 minute train journey to add on. Same on the way back. But I don't mind it. I really don't mind it. I must get George's phone number put in my phone. I could ring her for her, couldn't I? She just say, wait there, Mum, I'll join you. Well, she wouldn't get up here. She wouldn't get up here in time. I'd freeze to death. Not only that, I'm not really fit enough to walk with young people, really. I just like to plod in like this and stop him when I feel like it. Under no pressure from others to get a move on or anything like that. You know what I mean? When you're with others, there's pressure. Even if they don't mean it and they don't, they say, look, we'll take as long as it, it makes you feel bad. I walk alone. And I'm possibly faster than some people as well. For my age. For my age, I'm 70. 
I'm not a 20 year old or 30 or 40 or 50 or 60 year old I'm 70 and I'm doing this and I've seen a few older than me out today some people though and I appreciate it as well and respect it when they get to say 80 they park down there and they just walk up to the beacon and back right over and out beautiful views everyone beautiful views absolutely gorgeous views could be better it's a bit dull the camera's not good in this weather let me take a picture right onward again just a little bit more I'm looking for a way in to get into that valley and I reckon I'd have to go up there where I've been before to find a path that would take me down there. If not, I'd have to start from the bottom and do it, wouldn't I? I've got a feeling I can see a path now, maybe, there. Because I need to know, when I come over here another time, I actually need to know exactly where I'm going because time's a premium time is the the big factor here and that looks dead on that look at that route there what would be nice would be to do to do the whole circle if I had a car I'd park there and I'd explore all this yeah I would I'm not going over there now. I know I have been over there. I know it leads to West Quantock Head. That's why I know I've done that side. But So I don't need to do that. I know I've been over there. It takes you to West Quantock Head. What I haven't done... See, look. Was this the bit I was thinking? Or a bit further on, a bit further on, Jill. This is the one. This is where you've got to come. This is where you've got to come, girl. Here. And go down there. All the bushes are looking lovely, aren't they? Not very good, the camera, in this weather, though. I don't know why it's acting dark. I'm have to fiddle with the settings again or something. I either, ha I either have cameras that go dark, or they go bloody white. There you go, there you go Sheila, that's your entrance, that's what you've got to do girl. Do you want to do it now? Do you feel brave? It means you'd have to go back down Lux Lane a bit, turn off. No, I'm not, I don't want to do it today, I, I want to do Weekham. Let's just take a picture. Alright folks, down there trees that's Smith's comb that I've done this year went down that way I didn't I had to cut it short I couldn't make it to Hofford I don't think I had to come back up look at these lovely trees everyone these lovely trees look at that I hardly got any soil wearing away they look a bit withered actually Hinkley point over there zoom in somewhere there it is I don't know what's happening about that it looks greener than it did it churned up a lot of muck it does look greener there's the coast of Kilv all the way down there that I've I've walked all that coast I used to like going to Kilv and East Quantock Head for walks and along the beach we used to park our boat today like there's certain places i have really cut off from now, really, because there's not even a bus service. I'm glad I did it when I did it. Do you know, when I had Alberta, I covered such a lot of ground with her. I fit it in as much as I could, knowing I'd probably never go back to those places. Castles and cathedrals. 
really had a good time in 2014 and all the and the other years in between I was always going off Wait a minute. again folks here's my beautiful Quantox over the east and west Quantox head areas you could head straight across there you could join up with the Coleridge Way in lots and lots of different places here Holford is over the other side where all fox and houses by those trees right over there I'm looking out for deer is the October is the rutting season but I don't know where they do their rutting. Um, I've got a feeling they, over near Dowsborough Hill Fort seems to be a place where the stags sit on the hill with their big antlers dominate, dominating the skyline. The sad thing is that they have their rutting season, they have their mating season, then there's the hunting season. I've witnessed a few hunts here. I'm walking round the beacon today. I'm not bothered by going on it. The thing is, it is. It's nice to achieve it. It's not very. It's not very high up, to be honest. But I'm recording this on the 17th of October, 2022. Because I haven't been out here for two and a half months because of um, when the Queen died, I spent two weeks glued to the telly to tell the truth. There was so much going on when she passed away. I had two weeks when I was had some sort of poisoning and I didn't feel very well for a fortnight. Um, and that took me longer than a fortnight to get over, but I didn't put any big hikes in. But then I was. Uh, when I found out that the 126 bus was uh, being axed on the 9th of October, I had to cram in all the walks I normally spread out in the winter. I did them. And I couldn't do them all because the, it was the season of the cow. Some of the walks I do in the winter were over that way, the other side of Cheddar Gorge. So I had to fit in a lot of walks like Wells, Glastonbury, um, lots and lots of pretty. Isn't this gorgeous, everyone? It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? My sister Jude loved this place. I know her spirit's always with me when I'm here. Always. Even when she was alive. I often felt I would be walking with her here. And my Georgia like looks the hills. Zara appreciates them, but she don't like walking Zara. But she just love all this as well, really. But if it, it's not easy to be a lone walker if you're not in, up for it, to be quite honest, because um, it can be lonely. Especially when you pass couples, you pass families. Sometimes you can think, why am I on my own? <laughs> but I do it for lots of reasons. It's a, it's a healer. Walking alone is the healer. Yeah, walking alone. Now in a minute, if there is a path going up, I've got to branch off for it. That's the plan. Right, so it's beautiful, isn't it? The surveying scene again, everyone, before I take some more photos. East Quantock head down there. You just see the church, I can. the little village of Kilv, which Jude always talked to me a lot about. My, my daughter Georgia lives over this way now. It's a bit windy. 
I think I can see some sort of animal right over there. Now when my eyes were sharp I would have made that out. I know the deer do like that area. Could be horses actually. Over and out.